one of Con Nuga. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Sassy? Come on, up. Good girl. How are we, Amarelle? Are you glad mommy's home? Oh, bless you. Sassy sneezed. Hi. So you may be asking, Raven, how did you grow facial hair? Very naturally. Just kidding. Um, I am home from the first day of Conuga, and I'm being beaten by Sassy's tail. Oh. Emerald, leave her alone, buddy. Stop. First day was interesting. We got there after I got off work, and pre-registration was at a completely different location, so we had to take a shuttle there, which was exciting, and then we had to figure out where it was. But after that, we got back. Vendor's room was closed, but we ended up talking to people and making some friends, so that was fun. Um... Work was really anxiety inducing today because I kept making mistakes and as you guys know mistakes make me freak out because I feel like I'm looking stupid and then I think it'll look bad on my intern report and then I won't get a job. That's kind of the mindset I had going and that was not fun at all. Though my keeper was like, you know, it's okay. You're learning things and you're trying to understand them. And I'm just like, but, 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 uh. <sighs> so yeah, I spend the day and now I'm super tired, but Caitlin's supposed to be coming over. Yay. So I'm going to get all this stuff off and try to work on yesterday's vlog and maybe just maybe work on Yuri's wig for tomorrow. I'm not a hundred percent sure if I will yet. I need to get stuff prepared for tomorrow. That's for sure. So just want to check in with you guys at like 841 at night and I'll check back in with you later. Saturday, day two of Conuga. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm all right. As you can tell, my hair is ridiculously wild, but it's going to be under a wig cap. So, woo. Um, this is day two of Conuga. Yay. And I'm going to be Yuri Katsuki. So that should be fun. Um, Caitlin spent the night. That was a lot of fun. I don't know how much sleep either one of us got. Riddler was freaking out about her. It was weird. It's not something he normally does. Um, like, he refused to be in my room at all with her in it. I don't know what his deal was. Um, but now I'm up. I'm getting dressed. Weird thing is, and like, I have said this to some people before, like, a convention would be like a social anxiety person's nightmare. And probably anxiety in general. But I'm actually good with conventions. I love it a lot. Like, I love wearing costumes and being recognized and acting weird. That's something I love doing. And so I don't feel my anxiety as much whenever I'm at cons. Why? I don't know. That's just what I do. It's weird. <laughs> so... Now I'm going to finish getting dressed and then head out the door and I will check back in with you guys later. Hi guys, so here's me and Miss Sassy Girl. And I know this doesn't look like a vlog style, but let me be honest, I am extremely tired and I just felt too tired to even hold the camera up, so I'm not holding it right now. Um, I also like to apologize for a couple more things. One, I look like a hot mess and I know that. And two, bah, I was going to vlog some clips at the convention today and I forgot to um and of course as I'm telling the story of what happened today you'll know why so um let's see so we got there and of course for one of the first things we went to was the dealer's room and if you don't know what a dealer's room is um it's also called a dealer's hall 
or a vendor's hall where basically it is a huge room filled with like tables and stands where all so where people sell all sorts of products and it could be stuff that's imported it could be stuff that's handmade and it caters to everything you can imagine like anime larpers um if you like leather if you're a furry if you like knitted things um if you like artwork I even saw a table that sold whips. I saw a table where for $5 you could have a mercenary come kidnap you. And it was like a Star Wars thing, guys. It's okay. There was another one where for 10 bucks you can get your picture taken with an actual raven, which I did not do. But, you know, all sorts of fun things like that. But, of course, since I was saying how much there was, as you could probably guess, it was very, very overwhelming for me. Um, cause first I like to look around everything and then go back to the tables that I want to get something from. And I was extremely overwhelmed. Um, it got to where I was kind of feeling like, I kind of felt like I was floating. Like I wasn't really there. Like, I was there, but my brain was completely fogged out, and I just was like, what? Um, and then I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll just step out of the room for a little bit. So I stepped down to the hall, found a place to sit. Anxiety was growing worse. The foggy feeling was growing worse. So I'm like, okay. I knew that the con had a new system called the Valkyries, which were people who wore teal bandanas on their wrist. And if you found a Valkyrie, um, and you could find them for, like, any reason, anxiety, overstimulation, if somebody's harassing you, if someone's stalking you, like, if you need safety, basically, you go and find a Valkyrie. So I ended up finding a Valkyrie because my anxiety was that high, and I'm like, okay, I need to get somewhere just safe and quiet. So found one. He took me to a quiet room, which was very nice. It was a dressing room. Um, and as we were going, you know, he was explaining what the Valkyries were for. And he was telling me, you know, just take a deep breath. Everything's going to be okay. He gave me options like, you know, there's a bathroom here. If you need a drink, we can get you one if you want. Um, you can have the door closed or not. One of us can stay in here with you or not. And, like, he was like, you know, you could always, you know, read something on your phone or watch a video to calm down. Whatever you need to do. Which was so, so nice. Um, so I ended up sitting in there for a little bit. Of course, I told Tyler and also Lakota that I was in there. Because they were both like, where in the heck are you? <laughs> um, so I sat in there for a little bit. And I played a song off my Panic Button playlist. I think I did comes and goes in waves from Greg Laswell and that was getting me calm back down I also to do something with my hands I was fixing the bangs on my wig I was applying more hair glue to it so thumbs up for the Valkyries it's fantastic apparently because I had never seen this kind of system happen at a convention and I've been to I've been going to con since I want to say um, probably 2013 or 2012, I don't remember. Um, and I'd never seen a system like this where they would have these people that could help you. Um, it turns out it's something that Dragon Con does. And it was started because, okay, so a lot of bad things about Dragon Con I've been hearing about. Apparently, there's, well, of course, there's female cosplayers getting harassed. But apparently now there's been issues with girls getting drugged while at Dragon Con. So, Dragon Con kind of made their own safety committee thing, and Kanuga imitated it, which is great. Um, I don't think anybody here would be watching who was one of the Valkyries, but if you are, thank you so much. I'm so, so happy that you guys made this system and implemented it it was extremely extremely helpful 
Um, of course, once I got back out into the dealer's room, my head kind of started fogging a little bit again, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I found Lakota, and once I was talking with her, everything was better. Um, let's see, what else happened? Oh, and I want to show you a couple of things I got at Conduga today. Hold on one second. So the first item I got is this little alpaca, and it's so cute. And it's much smaller compared to the one I have. I have this one from a con I went to a few years ago. And then here's a comparison on size. They're so cute. I love them. They're so soft and squishy. This one is Marilyn Manson. And this one is Stevie Wonder. So, yay. And then... I had always had a tradition where when I go to a con that Tyler, my brother, can't go to, I would always get him something from that con. And it's been a Pokemon plush every time I go because I can't think of anything else to get him. So this time he bought me a Pokemon plush and it is of my favorite Pokemon, Rapidash. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I didn't think these existed and they do. And this, just, hooray. So I've got my Rapidash that does not have a name yet, but it will soon. And then Stevie Wonder. What do you think, Sassy? Do you like my Rapidash? Yeah. And Morel already says that he liked it because he tried to steal it. And then, do you like Stevie? Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm glad to know that it's dog approved. Um, and then the rest of the day was spent like meeting people, talking with people. Um, a lot of people I think have learned that, you know, while I do love conventions, I am initially very shy. <laughs> and that's something you would know if you ever like first met me in person. I'm initially shy. I may not always be the one to start a conversation. But once you get to know me, then you probably want me to shut up. <laughs> but I did a lot of that. Helped my brother with his very first panel, which didn't go as he expected it to, but I think he did well. And then before we left, he went and played um, like Casino Royale or something like that for the first time. And he had fun with that. And then I did Disney karaoke. Yeah. I ended up doing a duet with someone I just made friends with. We did Love is an Open Door, ironically. And then I did Perfect is an Easy from Oliver and Company, and that was a lot of fun. And, and then we left to go home. We stopped to get gas and Taco Bell and just, I guess, from the anxiety, from my head hurting, I think from my wig, and from everything happening, just, ugh energy down so freaking tired it's ridiculous um but yeah then we got home I showed my mom the pictures from the convention um I will link you guys to my cosplay Facebook page down below if you would like to see those pictures because I'll probably end this vlog post pictures that I took of myself but for this vlog, I don't want to post the cosplayers. Um, but they will be in my Facebook page. I did get permission from them to post them. I just don't want to post them onto this vlog. If you do go to that page, comment below with which cosplay was your favorite one. Because there are several really good ones in there. Um, but yeah, I got home. And I'm so excited about this too. Got a package today for Mr. Emerell. So as I told you guys, I traded a vest with a girl from Instagram. And the vest is here! Here it is! This strap looks smaller because I tightened the crap out of it. But here it is. On one side it says service dog and training. The other side is empty. But there's Velcro so I can attach patches. It's red. Lightweight. It... I think it's supposed to go to a maximum of 33 inches, which is perfect for him because that's about the maximum growth he'll have. 
and it also has zippered pockets. Let me see if I can get to the zipper. There it is. So, yay. I could put stuff in here so he'd get used to carrying things. What do you think? Do you need to sniff the vest too? I know the boys were super excited and needed to smell it. Probably because it smells like another dog. Yeah, that's for little brother. It is. So I'm so happy about this. So Caitlin, if you're watching this, thank you so much for this vest. And I really hope you enjoy the one I sent you. And of course, best thing is it's free. Hooray! So that was today. Um, and I am super, super duper tired. And if you can't already tell by now, um, hey baby, I'm making this an entire weekend vlog rather than each day because I may not record a whole lot on some days and also I'm super duper exhausted so I may not want to. So this is going to be the whole weekend in one vlog and it should be fine. So I'm already taking my sleep meds and I am about to pass out so... Yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys about the day and about all the fun stuff, the not so fun stuff, and of course the wonderful things that I was able to get today. Sunday, day three of Con Nuga! Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm Drew and I'm exhausted and I'm getting very annoyed at my puppy. It's 2.20 in the morning. This is the second time I've been woken up. First time was around 1.43 to take puppy outside. This time I get woken up to the dog peeing on my bed. Again. And now I'm just beyond pissed. And then he proceeds to pee in the hallway. And the bathroom. I'm just like, what the crap? So, very early morning. Why, puppy? Why are you peeing everywhere? Why? Good morning, guys. Derby Riddler, Derby Emerald, and Derby Sassy Girl. So, day three of Kanuga complete. Yay! It was fun. Got to take pictures of people, met some awesome people. Ooh, and let me show you what I got Emerald. So, I didn't think to get him anything from the convention, but when I saw this, I was like, I have to have it. It's a bandana! It's so cute on, and it's reversible. So on this side it has Darth Vader. And the other side, if I can flip it over, is Kylo Ren and Star Stormtroopers. Star Troopers, what? And it's got a little snap on it, so I can snap it around him. It was so freaking cute. Though the Star Wars, not Star Wars. What in the heck am I thinking? The Darth Vader side looks better on him than the Kylo Ren. But that's only because the Kylo Ren side is literally one shade darker than he is. And the Darth Vader just kind of sticks out more. But I plan on him getting more nerdy stuff as we go. And eventually I would like... I'm going to be taking him to conventions. And... Of course, dress him up too. So, yay! Oh, and it was cute. There was... I think I mentioned in yesterday's video about the German Shepherd service dog that I saw. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. But I saw this dog at all three days. And today, its mommy put a tutu on it. And it was so cute. It was a little rainbow tutu. And I think think they like My Little Pony because she had a lot of like My Little Pony stuff clipped to it and I think a few patches that looked like My Little Pony so it was really really cute um got the con ended at about 2 so my brother and I went home about 1 30 and for some reason I went to a cleaning mode so 
I was doing laundry, I was freshening up my room because I was having to get rid of the smell of dog pee. So, got a fabric freshener and sprayed down everything. And then right now I'm doing some purification and lemon in an oil diffuser. I haven't used this diffuser in a while because I've been too lazy to fill my water bottle, honestly, but I'm so happy that I'm doing it again. And I'll probably diffuse it tonight, which I'll definitely be looking forward to. Um, I cleaned off my desk, mostly. See? It's mostly clean. Oh, and the Rapidash now has a name. I put it up on Instagram asking people to name it. And the only name I got was from one of my best friend's sister, who said to name it Flaming Cheeto. So, his name is Flaming Hot Cheeto. Cheeto for short. So, fun name! Um, and then otherwise, right now my clothes are in the dryer. I took Little Bit outside to go potty without a leash for the first time today. He's been doing that with my dad a lot, but I've been kind of nervous to do it because I don't know what would happen. So I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Well, he did great. Like, we went out. He went to his normal pee spot and peed, went to his normal poop spot and pooped. It was great. And then we just kind of walked around the house and we played. He, his recall was very good, except for one time where he went into the road. And that's something he has to learn is he cannot go in the road. And I got really mad at him and got on to him because he went out in the road, wouldn't come back to me, and I chased him down the road. And I was like, buddy, you could have gotten hit by a car and you could have died. So, recall didn't do as well on the road. But otherwise, he did very well. And today we also did some training using the new vest. I just wanted to see what he would do. And I wish I could have taken video of training him. But, again, it's like one of those moments where you're in the moment and you don't think, here, let me stop this and grab a camera. Because you don't really want to break the moment. It makes me wish, like, I know science, this is weird, is coming up with these contact lenses that record video. I need me a pair of those just so that I can record things that are happening, like, right at that moment and I don't have my camera for it. That would be awesome, but those would probably be expensive as crap. So... Now, I'm about to take a shower in the next little bit and, of course, catch up on videos. Downside with going to cons is I'm not caught up on videos, so there's so many vlogs backed up. And I'm just like, oh, I'm trying to get through everybody's lives. So, yeah. So, I had a thought. It just went away. I'm going to watch a little bit more YouTube and then get in the shower and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. They're sassy. They're Riddler. There's Emerel. There's my uh, oil diffuser finally being used again. So, um, what has the night been? The night has been trying to catch up on vlogs still. Little, taking little boy outside, taking a shower, and that's really it. And then tomorrow I get the fun of compiling this entire weekend into one vlog, so yay, goody. Oh, and I also worked on my take home test that is due Tuesday. It's Sunday. But, you know, things happen. And I'm nearly done with it. I've just got three more questions that require the computer. So, I'll do that tomorrow. But now, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, if you could dress up as any character you wanted to be, which one would you choose? It could be a character from anything you could think of. Um, as you guys know, I cosplay, so I already dress up as a lot of characters I really like. But, I know one of the ones I'd love to do is Epona from Legend of Zelda. Yes, his horse. I want to build a quad suit of her. I don't know when that'll ever happen, if it will, but you know, we'll see. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Emeril. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Sassy. Good night, Raven. And good night to you.